Children, we all use computers nowadays, for various types of work, and in various fields. But have you ever wondered, how we have got this advanced computer machine? What is its history? Let us learn about it today. Evolution of Computers Class 5 History of Computers How did people do lengthy calculations in early times? They did not have any calculating machines as you have today. They used pebbles, bones, sticks, and fingers of their hands to count and calculate. They also used ropes for long calculations and even made shapes for some measurements. But these things did not yield accurate results. Later, counting boards were used to calculate the trade between goods bought and sold. The oldest counting board is the Salami's tablet. It was used by the Babylonian circa in 300 BCE. It was a piece of wood carved with stone or metal grooves. Between grooves, beads or pebbles were moved to calculate. In the 3rd century BCE, Eratosthenes invented a simple algorithm called the sieve of Eratosthenes. This algorithm was used to find all the prime numbers up to any given limit. Abacus In the 6th century BCE, Abacus was invented by the Chinese. It is the first known calculating device. It is made up of a metal or wooden frame. The frame is divided into two parts by a horizontal bar and 13 vertical bars. Each bar contains seven beads. Two beads are placed at the upper section and five beads are placed at the lower section. It was used to do simple addition and subtraction. Abacus is widely used today by students to learn calculations easily and quickly. They use an abacus that contains only five beads in each bar. There is one bead in the upper section and four in the lower section. Napier Bones By the middle of the 16th century, explorers of various continents started trading on a large scale. They needed a device for precise calculations of sea routes, accounting, planetary positions, and so on. People with mathematical proficiency were hired for jobs who could do repetitive calculations easily. In 1617, Sir John Napier invented Napier's bones, also called Napier's rods. In this, the numbers 0 to 9 were marked on a set of ivory sticks. These numbers were marked in such a way, that the product of any number could be found by placing the sticks, side by side. Napier's invention also led to the invention of the slide rule. It was first built in England in 1632. It was used by the NASA engineers for programs used to land humans on the moon, such as Apollo programs. Pascal and Calculator In 1642, Blaise Pascal invented the machine for his father. His father was a tax collector. He named the machine, Pasclin, or Arithmetike. It could add and subtract numbers automatically. Leibniz Calculator In 1673, Gottfried von Leibniz invented a calculator known as Leibniz Calculator. It was also called the Step Reckoner. It was superior to Pascalin. It could add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. The Leibniz's calculator was used for various purposes in trade and travel. For example, to check the increase in population, the demand of clothing, food, and other basic commodities. 
Jacquard Loom. In 1801, Joseph Jacquard invented Jacquard Loom. It used punched cards to control the sequence of operations. A pattern on the loom's wave was changed by changing the punched card. Difference and Analytical Engines In 1822, Charles Babbage designed the Difference Engine. This machine was to be used in calculating and printing simple mathematical tables. But he could not complete this machine. So, later in 1834, he invented the Analytical Engine. The main parts of this machine were called the store and mill. The data was stored with the help of punched cards. Mill processed the data to give a result. The store of analytical engine is similar to presently used memory. Lady Ada Augusta Lovelace suggested some programs to Charles Babbage for the analytical engine. She is the first programmer. A programming language used chiefly by the US government, was named after Ada, in her honor. Tabulating Machine In 1988, Herman Hollerith invented the tabulating machine. The increase in population in the US, and the need of recording the population data was a tiring process. He used notes that were left by Charles Babbage. He used the machine to calculate the results of the US Census. Punched cards were used to feed the census data in about two years. Mark I In 1944, Howard Aiken designed Mark I. It was a fully automatic machine, in collaboration with international business machines. IBM, Corporation Mark I was the first electromechanical computer. It ran non-stop for 15 years. It sounded like a room full of ladies knitting. It was also called, Automatic Sequence Controlled Computer. For learning about the generations of computers, click the link given in the description box. Now, let us learn latest technological developments. First is Robotics. Robotics are used to perform various physical and dangerous tasks mechanically. They are either controlled by a computer chip, automated, or by a human, manually. The areas where robots are being used are disposing of bombs, cleaning up nuclear waste, etc. Exploring areas with extreme conditions, such as volcanic eruptions, or the depth of the ocean. Manufacturing jobs, such as production lines, packing, and welding tasks. Moving and lifting heavy objects or installing large engines. Artificial intelligence is a field where computer systems are created to simulate human intelligence. The term artificial intelligence was first used by a computer scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1956. The areas where AI is being used are Games Computers are developed to play games against humans. For example, a computer named Deep Blue developed by IBM defeated a world champion in the game of chess in 1997. Expert Systems Computers are programmed to make decisions based on the information given. For example, based on symptoms, medical expert systems can diagnose a patient's illness. Languages Computers can understand different human languages as they are spoken to them. And Robotics Machines are programmed to imitate a human. Artificial intelligence in everyday life. AI is used to predict approaching storms. And automatically issue warnings. AI is used to drive cars without human intervention. This might drastically reduce road accidents. 
AI in home alarm systems is used to identify the difference between the homeowners and intruders. Robots are also used as surgical assistants. They are being used to quickly pass the correct surgical tools to doctors. Virtual Reality Virtual reality is an artificial environment. It is a seemingly real but artificially created environment where the users interact or walk around using electronic equipment. They experience things in a way similar to the real world. Virtual reality is used by Surgeons They practice on virtual patients to gain experience before the actual surgery. They also operate to learn new techniques. Architects They can take a virtual tour of their design for a better understanding of what the finished building would look like. Soldiers They train themselves to understand battlefield stimulation. And patients Certain phobias and anxieties can be cured by gradually introducing the patients to the situation that they are scared of. Biometrics Biometrics is a technology that measures and analyzes features of a human body for the purpose of identification. Biometrics are used in the place of passwords. Using biometrics ensures that body parts cannot be lost, forgotten, or stolen. This makes it more advantageous than a system of passwords and keys. Examples of biometrics are Fingerprints Eye recognition Face recognition And voice recognition M learning M learning consists of learning that takes place through portable, handheld electronic devices such as tablet computers, netbooks, and digital readers. These devices act as educational tools. 